All right, two types of stresses we'll talk about. The normal force causes normal stress. The shear force causes shear stress. Is that easy enough? Right? The normal force causes normal stress in the same direction as the normal force, right? It is perpendicular to the cross section. <clears throat> And it is spread out over the area. Right? That's what stress is. Stress is really just force sp spread out divided by area. All right, here's a, a definition, a textbook definition. The intensity of force acting normal to the cross-sectional area. The intensity of force acting normal to the cross-sectional area. I don't know if you, if you understand, but like that intensity uh, means kind of just the height of the, the magnitude of that force on the whole area. All right. And so we just, and so we're going to define normal stress as the sigma. All right. So sigma is equal to N over A. Sigma is equal to N over A. N is the internal normal force. All right. Yes, sometimes the external force P is the same as the internal force N, but this is the internal. We need to cut, need to cut to find in. So this is the external, but if it's a very simple problem where you've got these two external P's, then when you cut it, let's call this in, when you cut it, you'd solve for in. All right, so the normal stress is equal to the internal normal force divided by the cross-sectional area. And it is uniform. And it really is, that's a good assumption. It's a good assumption that it's pretty much uniformly distributed throughout the whole cross-section. Good assumption. Okay, so we're gonna kinda go back to our positive sign convention and say positive stress is tension. Negative stress is compression. All right, positive stress is tension. <coughs> Negative stress is Compression. Let's talk about units. Units might be newtons per meter squared. That's a Pascal. I'll send y'all a joke. I don't want to mess it up about Newton, Pascal, and Einstein uh, playing hide and seek or something. All right, but anyway, a Newton per meter square is a Pascal. And so Pascal would be a good uh, unit for pressure. Okay, but um, also a Newton millimeter squared, we could think about how these units would work out. Meters to millimeters is off by a thousand, a factor of a thousand, but we're also squaring it. So it's a factor of like 10 to the six. Uh, it's MPA, mega Pascal. Let's 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 remember that one. Let's kind of memorize that one. A lot of our stresses are going to be in MPA. A lot of our dimensions we can have in millimeters. So Newton per millimeter squared is a megapascal. Uh, how about English units? I don't mind English units. Uh, a pound over inches squared. It, 
PSI, pound per square inch. All right. A kip over inches squared KSI. Y'all do know that uh, one kip is a thousand pounds. So English units, it's, there's kind of no conversion. It's just if you're given pounds over inches squared PSI, if you're given kips over inches squared KSI, uh, pound over feet squared PSF, pound per square feet. Okay, let's don't overcomplicate normal stress. It is just normal force divided by the cross-sectional area. All right, but I really would encourage you to cut your beam to find the internal end. Don't take, sometimes you can take shortcuts, but sometimes you can't. 